Okay, so I don't know what this looks like, but whatever it looks like, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about Love is Blind, my new favorite show. If you've never heard of it before, it's basically a show that says, hey, you know what? Ugly niggas need love too. <laughs> So you know I'm down for this show right here. All right, so to give you a little bit more context, it's a show where a bunch of singles go into a house and all they have to rely on is their conversation. They can't rely on their looks. They can't rely on how much money. Well, yeah, they can, but you get the point. They can't see each other, essentially. And then at the end of the time period, I think it's two weeks, but I don't know. Like, <laughs> but at the end of the time period, they got to get married to somebody, which uh, is wild to me, but... Hey, they gotta do what they gotta do out here. But the thing that gets me about this whole concept is like, bruh, I could put on a front for two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Like, but in reality, hello, I'm a nigga wearing a lion costume. So if you, if you, if I put on this little front and, you know, try to act all smooth for two weeks and then pop up on, 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 week, on day number 15 with a lion costume on, you're gonna be like, I married this nigga? But, you, you don't you don't want that. So like, it's it's a recipe for disaster, bruh. All right, but without further ado, let's go ahead and watch it and see everything that's gonna inevitably go wrong. <laughs> you know what really went wrong though? Me trying to say inevitably. <laughs> and see everything that's gonna inevitably, whoa. Let's sit your dumb ass down. <laughs> like nigga, what was that? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Growing up, I wanted to be like Hugh Hefner, stylish guy, can have his pick of the litter. But there comes a time in every man's life where he has to settle down. All right, let me translate. This nigga broke. I know he still want to be Hugh Hefner, but that nigga tried to buy a mansion, he saw that price, and he was like, ooh, let me go get a duplex and a wife. <laughs> I'm Vanessa Lachey. I'm obviously Nick Lachey. All right, Nick, you, uh, you're very confident, my brother. I respect that. But nigga, I don't even know where I know you from. Like, I know, I know who he is, but I don't know where I've seen him before. That nigga came out there like, obviously you niggas know who I am. Like, excuse me, Nick? Where is this nigga from? I gotta find out. <laughs> Dance with the stars? I get, I, nigga, I don't even know. <laughs> Your relationships will begin by forging an intimate bond with nothing to distract you. Here's how it's gonna work. <laughs> We're gonna cut a bunch of holes in the wall. And in just four weeks, you'll be at your wedding. This is so stupid, bruh. <laughs> It's not gonna work. I can tell. I can spoil it for you. It won't work. Sabotage you, and is that Wayne Brady? Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bit? <laughs> what are you doing on here? <laughs> you say let's make a deal. Hey, it might be <laughs> the women. How much for the women? Is love truly blind? We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kodak Black. <laughs> is love? Truly blind. I hope so. No, okay. Okay. I'll never forget my first date with one of my girlfriends in high school. She had told her dad that I was Mexican. And he opened the door and he goes, Oh, you're not what I expected. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he said, he said, Oh, all right, let me let me put my MAGA hat back on. <laughs> Welcome to the family, son. Oh man, AEW's on. I got where's the remote? I, forgot, I lost the remote. <laughs> this video is very informal, by the way. As if, as if my other ones aren't. <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say you're um, African American. Damn! Actually, no, I'm white. Are you? <laughs> he said up real quick. Oh, you're white? Okay. <laughs> but honestly, I'm the type of person that I am attracted to personality. Not saying I want to marry Shrek or anything like that, but if Shrek had a good personality, I mean. She lying. But, uh, bro, she hit Shrek with that. Aw, oh, Shrek. Ah, if only I could meet a guy like you. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. What do you think about dogs in the bed? <laughs> <laughs> I am one, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, I'd be like, hey, dogs is cool. As long as you cool with Anaconda. Next one laughs. Oh, there's my wife. All right. It's like, it's like whoever I saw last is my number one. <laughs> I just want to punch this nigga in the throat. <laughs> He cool people though. <laughs> does that rule me out? No, as long as you would never like yell at a dog. Who does that? Uh, Mike Vick. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Diamond. How you doing, Diamond? So which strip club do you work at? I'm kidding. Beat me to it. <laughs> Look, five minus five. Hell no, Barnett. Uh uh, keep moving. Yeah, that's right, sister. Send him home. <laughs> yeah, 
That's right. I'm a hater, bro. A lot of girls will develop daddy issues in the form of, oh, I need a man's attention. Instead of turning into that. She started OnlyFans. Cars. <laughs> Oh, my is a whole scumbag. Okay. <laughs> things and make things with my hands. I wanted to be a badass. Hello. Hello. Yo. That's my new favorite character right there. <laughs> I see we got a villain in this show. My favorite was Barnett. He made me laugh yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah, He's really yeah, sarcastic yeah, and perverted. Yeah, and I'm like, yo. <laughs> and I'm like, yo. <laughs> <sighs> Ugly n****s, don't try it. Do not try it. <laughs> Be sarcastic and perverted if you want to and see how that goes for you. <laughs> FBI, open up! I don't care if they can't see you. They can hear it in your voice. <laughs> we got the ugly nigga octave. <laughs> I probably sound crazy saying this, but in less than 24 hours, I have found like, honestly, probably three potential guys that I could see myself with for the rest of my life. <sighs> All right, that's stupid. I'm sorry, let me be real for a second. That's just stupid, you know what I'm saying? Just because a nigga sells you on a dream at first doesn't mean you're gonna be with that nigga forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing, bro? You had one good conversation with a few niggas that are showing you their best self and now you think you in love with three niggas? Are you, come on, man. I probably sound crazy saying this. Yep. <laughs> Every girl grows up waiting for their Prince Charming and I wanna make sure that this is it, that this is the one and um, willing to wait all right walt disney <laughs> good luck with that money <laughs> and i'm willing to wait for it what's the most times that you guys have had sex in one day oh no does size matter or is it the motion in the ocean very very tiny or how does that oh she wanted to say black <laughs> Bro, you can see it. <laughs> Wait, on that side. What do guys do when they can't play video games? Watch Love is Blind and make fun of y'all. <laughs> I'm Diamond. I will want my king to have fun, live your life. I like that. So go to Vegas okay, and tell I'm me all about it. Okay, Diamond. I believe that. <laughs> I'm sure he'll tell you all about his escapades in Vegas with a bunch of other girls, all ironically named Diamond. <laughs> like a, a connection. It doesn't feel forced. Right. So now you tell me. Oh. You know, you know what? I saw the, I saw these niggas. They was on the Breakfast Club. That's what that was. And, and the <laughs> camera was rapping. That's where I remember him from. Ah, uh, bro, he ain't had no bars. <laughs> so when I'm finished and I'm done with the green, my biography is Forbes magazine. That shit is fucking trash, dog. Get the fuck off the airway. So I guess I know how this ends, but I'm definitely interested to see how we got there. <laughs> how do you go from a scientist? to an alchemist. Oh, that's a bar right there. All right, Cameron, I can do it too. <laughs> What's the last thing that you cried about? My mom was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Nope, don't got nothing to say about that. She's 34, I'm 24. I don't care. To me, age is a mindset. Oh, age is a mindset, huh? Hey, we got another undercover member of the Cougar Gang, bro. <laughs> I wanted to find me a, you know, a cougar to love. At the Cougar Gang, our motto is, Okay, Boomer. <laughs> I'm definitely super Christian. Holy shit, we're the same fucking person. Uh, I thought he dipped out of there. <laughs> also, you didn't hear this from me, but she need to put some shea butter on them knees. My damn! Look like she tripped and fell on some gravel. <laughs> Cameron. Yes? I think I love you. I love you. What? I think it's been like three days. How How are you in love? What? But you know what? Who am I to judge? First of all, I'm some scumbag on the internet. So what do I have to say, right? And then second of all, I'm more interested in results anyway. For example, if they were to get married and it lasted and they were happy and they created great memories, blah, 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 then I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Me judging them for being in love with each other it's stupid, so there's that, but, but, if it doesn't work out, I am going to be on the front lines laughing at these dummies for the dumb decision they're about to make. If it is a dumb decision, you know what I'm saying? But man, this nigga really just proposed to a stranger, bruh. Think about that for a second. <laughs> now that I'm here, I'm scared because what if he doesn't like how I look? What if I don't like how he looks? But, but you, but you said earlier 
saying that you, if he looked like Shrek, you'd be cool with it if he had a nice personality. Clearly, you like his personality, so what's the problem? Even if you don't like how he looks, it's good, right? Right? <laughs> Oh, they gonna leave us on a cliffhanger like, man. <laughs> now I gotta keep watching. All right, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it, bro. <laughs> I like this show. He was definitely. He was definitely not what I expected. <laughs> Did my just walk off, bro? Are you serious, bro? This go. I can't wait to watch the rest of this show. <laughs> Talking about, hey, you know I was just playing about that whole marriage thing, right? It, it was a little jokey joke, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why are you marrying my daughter? Have you ever been in a room full of black people? <laughs> Does it count if they're wearing blackface, sir? <laughs> you. You. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, let me put this on the ground. All right, so final thoughts. I love this show, and I can't wait to watch more of it. Uh, bruh, these niggas is crazy on here, and I, they doing, they making some dumb decisions, probably, so, hey, let's, let's just see how this goes together. My favorite, my favorite character so far is, uh, the nigga beer, uh, Carlson, that, that's, he crazy, like, I can already tell he gonna be a problem, so I, I can't wait to see how that unfolds. Uh, let me see, the Barnett Jessica thing, that's kinda interesting. And Cameron and uh, what's his, what's her face, Lauren, I know, I already know how that ends up, so, hey, this is gonna be good, man, I, oh, I can't wait to see the rest of this. Alright, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching this whole thing, and I hope I only, what, what do I say? <laughs> and I hope, I can only hope that you have a fantastic day. Alright, until next time, love, peace, and soulmate. I guess, I don't know. Peace out, y'all. See y'all next time. Because there's going to be a next time. <laughs>